Okay, so in this video I'm gonna talk about the video title and the description and I'm first gonna walk you through the actual document I've prepared for you for this specific video and then I'm gonna show you with a live example how I do several parts of this document and how I put it into action, okay? So let's dive into the video title, okay? Now, once you've downloaded your Creative Commons video, what you wanna do is you wanna make a new search for the same term, for the new keyword on YouTube again, but this time you're not gonna use the filter Creative Commons. Instead, you're gonna use the regular search on YouTube for that keyword, okay? Then you're gonna pick two to three titles from other videos that show up for that keyword with lots of views and use them as an inspiration to come up with a new one, okay? Now this is really important, guys. I don't want you to copy and paste the same video titles from other people. This is not what we're gonna do here, okay? We are not gonna be a copycat in this example. It's really, really important to understand that. If you just copy and paste, maybe you get some results, maybe not, but chances are that YouTube is going to notice that and might punish your video because of that. It's not 100%. I'm not saying that it's not gonna happen 100%, but you wanna be different, okay? Don't be just like any other guy on YouTube and just copy and paste. Don't be the lazy guy, okay? At the end of the day, it's going to pay off if you put in the effort, the time, and the work to make this method work. And I can promise you, you will get some really good results if you don't be a copycat, okay? Now, like I said, use them as an inspiration. Make sure that the main keyword you try to rank for in your video title is going to be in your video title, okay? Now, if I try to rank for the title, for the keyword, how to lose weight fast, and my title is, let's say, this is how to lose 20 pounds in eight days. Now, this is obviously not the main keyword I try to rank for, okay? So make sure that the main keyword is going to match your video title and you have it in there. This is really important. Next is the video description. Now, there are many variables that come into play when it comes to optimizing a video description for SEO traffic on YouTube. So obviously, things might change here and there and from time to time. But I want to give you, you know, kind of a, I would say, template that's going to work, that has been work all the time. And I think it's going to keep working even you know, even longer. Now, also one thing you want to keep in mind is that is that YouTube is going to change the algorithm from time to time, even constantly. So keep that in mind and don't worry about that as long as your videos are not, you know, some crappy videos, which they aren't. Otherwise, they wouldn't got any traffic, viral traffic um, before, right? So you don't have to worry about this for now. And as long as you follow the instruction from this document, aka not being a copycat, you should be fine, okay? So here's the template I'm using myself. I've used myself and many of my clients have used it as well. And the description looks like this. So first you start with the video title. So you're just gonna copy and paste the video title from your, from your video, put it in here. And then you wanna add a call to action to your offer. Let's say I have an offer for people to send them to a squeeze page where I want them to give me their email address and I have prepared something like a PDF or something, okay? Then my call to action could be um, something like, and make sure to click the link right below this because I'm gonna offer you something a free PDF guide or a sheet sheet or something like that, um, completely free, which is going to help you to X, Y, and Z in X, Y, and Z without X, Y, and Z, okay? So this is really important. 
but this is a different topic. So just put the call to action for your offer here next to your video title. And ideally, what I recommend you doing is I would use the headline from your, you know, the main headline from your sales page or your squeeze page. So to make it congruent to your, for the people, because when they click on the link and let's say your call to action from your offer here next to your title is different than the title you have on your sales page or your blog post or your squeeze page, there is, you know, it can, can confuse people, okay? So you want to make it as easy as possible and to keep the congruency as high, you know, on the highest level as possible. This is really important because this is going to increase your conversion as well, okay? So this is that. Next, short description with the main keyword. Use it once or twice. Don't, you know, no overkill here. This is really important, okay? The description you put in here must make sense, okay? I've, I've seen videos, video descriptions from people where they just put a description right in here and the description actually didn't make any sense. They had their main keyword uh, put in the description like seven or eight times and there was no sense, no, no, it didn't make sense at all, okay? So this is really something you, you must consider as well, okay? It's common sense, right? Now, here are some other topics you may like to check out too, okay? Now, keep in mind, with YouTube, it's the same with Facebook and probably any other kind of platform, social platform you, you find out there. The main goal for them is always to keep their users as long as possible on their platform to, to have a good experience with the content they provide, okay? The same goes with YouTube. Now, the good thing about this is that if you do it like this, YouTube is going to, you know, reward you for keeping the visitors also on their platform by sending you more people, more visitors to your videos, okay? This is also really a good thing about it, okay? And the other thing is obviously that you are also going to get more views for the other videos as well. Makes sense. So you have a playlist name here, number one, and then the link to the playlist. You have playlist name number two, the link to the playlist, and a third playlist with a link to it as well. Again, if you just have two playlists or just one, then just use one, okay? It doesn't matter. If you have more that, that's related to the, to the video you put in your channel at this time, then you wanna obviously, you know, make Playlist name number four, five, six, depends on how, much, how many you have. The next is your video title. So you just copy and paste the video title here again. And then you wanna have the link to your offer below the title again. I suggest you, I forgot to add this here. I'm just gonna copy and pretty much paste it right behind the title the same structure like we used in the beginning of the description okay we're just gonna copy and paste this in here okay but this time we also want to put the video link from this specific video right below the you know the offer link okay you can also add some space below there it doesn't matter as long as you have your youtube video link right in your description as well Next is you want to come up with a list of other related keywords you try to rank this video for. And the cool thing about this is that you don't have to do, you know, a lot of brain work uh, to come up with the keywords yourself. What we want to do is we want to leverage YouTube and the suggestion bar uh, to do it for us. Okay, so an example. The keyword could be how to build a dining table. So I'm going to search for this keyword here. I'm gonna filter by Creative Commons. I'm gonna, let's say, pick this one. I'm gonna download it to my computer. And then I'm gonna upload it again, just by clicking here, this camera icon, upload the video. So by the way, you should also, in the beginning, when you upload a video for the first 24 hours, this is something I found, is which worked really well, you wanna 
put all the videos for the first 24 hours to unlist it. And then after the 24 hours, you want to put them to public. Okay. But this is just a side note. Okay. And then you're just going to track and drop or select the video file and let it upload to your video, to your channel. Okay. Now, let me quickly go back here. So I've chosen already the filter. Now I've downloaded this video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new search or basically just going to, you know, turn off this filter. And as you can see, there are many, many videos that show up and I would pick, let's say, um, let me see this one, for example, how to make a dining table. And this one, for example, do it yourself. Okay. So a title that comes to my mind could be something like a modern way to, or something like, let me think, do it yourself, a modern way to build a dining table. Pretty, pretty simple. Okay. It's really simple. Maybe it's just a combination of the two titles, but that's it. Okay. Don't overcomplicate this. Okay. And yeah, and then I would just follow this description here, this body description template and, you know, fill in my, my text. Now, in terms of the keywords you want to, the list you want to put in the description as well, I would go ahead and I would search for some suggestions like how to build a dining table, something like with leaves or let me see with a dining table bench base so you could pretty much use i would say out of wood bench base so at least four or five of these suggestions and put them in the list here in the description and that's pretty much all there's to it and after 24 hours you're going to you're going to um, put the video to public and that's pretty much it. Okay. With that being said, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one again. Bye.